Well, everybody is on pins and needles across the country, particularly those teams who are in the running for LeBron James. You ready to go, LeBron? Where's, where's the powder? Left it at home. <laughs> I left. So what's new? What's been going on with you this summer? Uh, man, this whole free agent um, experience, I'm um, looking forward to it. What have you thought about this process? Um, this process has been everything I've thought um, and more, you know, and, and that's what I did a few years ago. I put myself in a position um, to have this, this, this process um, where I can hear teams' pitches and, and figure out uh, what was the best possible chance for me to uh, ultimately win and to ultimately be happy. You were able to be recruited because you went straight to the NBA from high school. So have you enjoyed this recruiting process now? Um, well, I, I have enjoyed it. And, um, you know, I want to thank all six teams that I had an opportunity to sit down with and, um, and hear what they had to say. And, and my team, they hear what we had to say also. Um, it's, been a, it's been an unbelievable experience, a, a real humbling experience um, to be even to be in this position. What did you expect? Because we've seen 30-foot billboards. We've seen teams clear out all kinds of cap space. Uh, we have seen cartoons made about you and for you in part of their pitch. President Obama, for crying out loud, seven times has commented that he'd like to see you go to Chicago. What did you expect from this process? Um, well, certain things like that is one thing you can't control, but um, I expected to, to be able to go through this process, be able to sit down with my team and sit across from other teams and hear um, how they feel with me being a part of their team could help them win and can ultimately help others win. Um, and, and the process was everything I expected and more. And like I said before, I just thank all those teams to, to come to Cleveland and uh, us have those interviews and us have that process. It was, I mean, it was everything I've ever expected and more. How many people know your decision right now? Uh, not many. It's a, it's a very, very small number. And I probably could count it on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> one hand or two hands? Uh, let's say one. When did you decide? Um, I think I decided this morning. I mean, I, I decided this morning. I went day to day on, you know, I wake up one morning as this team. I wake up another morning as this team. Um, and, you know, it was, a, it was a process that, you know, I felt that was going to happen where, you know, I may feel like this is the best opportunity for me or it's not the best opportunity for me. But um, this morning um, I woke up, I had a, a great conversation with my mom. And, uh, you know, once I had that conversation with her, I think I was, uh, I was set. So the last time you changed your mind was yesterday? Uh, the last time I changed my mind was uh, probably in my dreams. <laughs> and when I woke up this morning, I knew it was the right decision. So does the team that you're going to, that you'll announce in a few minutes, do they know your decision? Uh, they just found out. They just found out. Yeah. So the other five on pins and needles, they don't know they'll be listening to this. All right. Who in this process, LeBron, have you taken advice from and who has had the biggest influence? Um, I've taken a lot of advice from my friends and family. Uh, my agent, Leon Rose, has been great. Um, a lot of people that I, <clears throat> excuse me, that I, that I look towards um, in a time of need or, or for advice. And, um, you know, but ultimately they looked at me and said that you ultimately have to live with your decision that you're going to make. And um, you have to do what's best for you, um, for your family and for you to ultimately be happy. What was the major factor, the major reason in your decision? Um, I think the major factor and the major uh, reason in, in my decision was um, the best opportunity for me from, to win and, and to win now and to win into the future also. Um, you know, and winning is a huge thing for me, Jim. You know, I've, ever since, I mean, I was a rookie or even in high school, and we always talked, you know, that was the number one thing for me, um, help my teammates get better and just wanting to win. And um, I've done some great things in, this, in my seven years, and, uh, and I want to continue to do that. How deep of an evaluation do you have to do to go through that to figure out tomorrow, next year, and beyond that equation, that winning? Well, one thing you can't control is, is you never know. You never know. You, know, you want to put yourself in a position where you feel that it's the best opportunity. Um, but saying I can win a championship next year or saying I can win it the year after, those are things that you don't know until you go out there and actually play the game. Um, but, but you have to put yourself in the right position to be able to compete and also accomplish the goals that you set out for. Do you have any doubts about your decision? Um, no, I don't have any doubts at all. Would you like to sleep on it a little longer? Or are you ready to make this decision? Oh, no, I've slept enough, or <laughs> the lack of sleep. <laughs> you still a nail biter? Uh, I have a little bit, not, not of late. 
we've had everybody else biting their nails, so I guess it's time for them to stop chewing. The answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, this is, this is very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. That was the conclusion you woke up with this morning. That was the conclusion I woke up with this morning. Why? Um, <clears throat> like I said before, um, I feel like it's, it's going to give me the best opportunity to, to win and to win for multiple years. Um, and not only just to win in a regular season or just to win um, five games in a row or three games in a row. Um, I want to be able to win championships and I feel like I can compete down there. Was it always in your plan to go and play with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh? Well, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to it. Um, to say it was always in my plans, I, I can't say it was always in my plans because I never thought it was possible. Um, but the things that the, the Miami Heat franchise have done to be able to free up cap space and to be able to put themselves in a position this summer to have all three of us, um, you know, it was hard to turn down. I mean, you know, those are two great players, two of the greatest players that we have in this game today. And, um, you know, you add me, uh, we're going to be a really good team. The three of you will share now the spotlight and the limelight. And in many ways, you're going to Dwayne Wade's team. He's been in Miami. He's won a championship. How do you think you'll be able to fit in and possibly not be the headliner all the time? Well, for me, um, it's not about sharing. You know, it's about everybody having their own spotlight and then just doing what's best for the team. Um, you know, at, at this point, um, D. Wade is, he's the unselfish guy here. To be able to have Chris Bosh and then LeBron James to welcome us to his team, it, it's not about an individual here. Um, because if that was the case, D. Wade wouldn't have asked us to join him or we wouldn't have asked him if it was okay to come down there. It's not about individuals. It's about a team, and that's what this game is about. How do you explain this to the people in Cleveland? Uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's heartfelt for me. Um, you know, it's hard to explain, but at the same time, my heart and the seven years that I've gave um, to that franchise, to that city, um, was everything. I mean, those 20,000 plus fans that came out every night we played, and they seen me grow from an 18-year-old kid to a 25-year-old man. And um, I, I never wanted to leave Cleveland. Um, and my heart um, will always be around that area. Um, but I also felt like um, this is the, <clears throat> the greatest challenge for me um, is to move on. What was the major reason for leaving the Cavaliers? Well, I don't even see it as um, it's not like leaving Cleveland is, is the whole logistic of it. It's about joining forces with the other two guys that I feel like I respect their game the most, and I feel like we have a great chance of winning and winning for multiple years. Um, like I said before, this is a very emotional time for me. I know it's emotional for the fans and also um, for the area. And um, if it was the perfect award, I would have loved to stay, um, you know, because I've done so many great things for that team. They've done so many great things for me. Uh, but I feel like um, it's time to change. What do you think will be the fans' reaction back there, and will you still live in Akron? Um, I'm not sure. Um, you know, they can have mixed emotions, of course. Um, There's going to be a lot of emotions not understanding why. Uh, and then you're going to have the real friends that, that love me for who I am. Uh, but for me, being from Akron, Ohio, and, and loving Akron, Ohio, it's always home for me. Um, I'm going to still live there. I'm going to always be home. And Akron, Ohio was always home to me in that area. Eric Spolster is the coach. Dwayne Wade, Chris Boss said that he will be the coach. Have you been told that he will be your coach, or has Pat Riley in your meetings indicated that he might come back to the bench? No, um, Eric Spolster will be the coach, and um, you know that's what you know. Pat said that, and, and Eric is a great, um, great young coach. He has a great mentor in Pat. I mean, if you need something to bounce off, he has a great person to go to, um, because Pat has been through everything. He's been from the, to the highest level to the lowest level, so he knows everything about it. But um, I respect Eric. And I respect, um, you know, the coaching staff. I respect Coach um, Coach Poster and everything that he's going to do, and try to put us in the right position to win this, uh, win it, win it all. Ever want to go through this again? Uh, this is this is tough. Um, it's very tough because you feel like you let a lot of people down. Um, you've you've raised a lot of people's um, expectations also, um, but it was a tough decision um, because I know how loyal I am. Um, and one thing my mother told me. Um, be, when I was going through this process and what ultimately helped me make my decision is um, um, you have to do what's best for you and what's going to make you happy um, at the end of the day because no one can live with the consequences or 
anything that comes with your decision besides you. And once I heard that from my mother, I'm the person that I always look to for guidance. Um, it was easy. You told me that she had a major influence when you called her this morning. You didn't believe the reaction she would have would be the one that you got. Can you share what she said to you this morning? Um, well, absolutely. Like I said, um, when I called my mother, I thought I would hear a different reaction. Um, but when she, her reaction was it was a great move because she felt um, it was going to ultimately make me happy. It wasn't about being in Miami. It wasn't about playing alongside Chris and playing alongside Dwayne, which who she believed are two great basketball players because she loved the game, but she felt it was going to make me happy. And uh, when I heard that from my mother, it was like, uh, it was the relief that I was looking for throughout this whole process. Ron, appreciate it. Thanks so much. There's going to be an awful lot more with you coming up here on ESPN.